Hello and welcome to Bone Slicers Unreal Tournament 3 video tutorials. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, I've already added several uh, jump pads in my map, but I'm going to add another one here just to show you how to do it in case you don't know. First thing I'm going to do in my map is open up the uh, generic browser here at the top of your editor and go to actor class classes and you'll see uh, if you scroll down there uh, you'll see if you don't have it expanded already look for navigation point and expand that and you'll see jump pad UT jump pad so if you highlight that and right click on the map where you want the jump pad and click add to UT jump pad here and once you do that the very top of your editor under tools click add pickup light this will automatically add a light for your jump pad now once you do that you need to have a path node for the jump pad to jump to so we're going to look up here and we're going to see if we have a path node here and we do have one we have a path node here but in case you don't know how to add a path node, I'm going to add another one so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to right click in my map on top of this base here and I'll click add actor add path node now if you go into properties of this path path node by right clicking it and going to properties we want to see let me Bring all this down here so it won't confuse you. Okay, we want to see if you go under object, you'll see that this path node's name is path node 20. So now that we know that, we can exit out of the path node. We can go back down to our jump pad with the path node still highlighted. And you can right click on your jump pad. I'll tell you what, let's highlight it. Go to properties first. Let me get all this back down here. Okay. Now, if you look under UT jump pad, it says jump target none. All right, now there's two ways to do this. The first thing you can do, the way you can do it, is you can go up here and highlight it. and well I guess you can't do it that okay it's path node 20 I guess you can't do it that way alright what you're gonna have to do here then is highlight this and just type in path node 20 or just type in yeah path node 20 path node underscore 20 and hit enter and once you do that, it'll find the path to the path node. Uh, now, your jump time is what you're going to have to set here now. Your air time control and your jump time for this particular uh, jump pad. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change this to 2.5 just to see how that works. Now that I've done this, I want to build all and save. Okay, once you've uh, done that, just close out here and click. Uh, okay, auto save is on here, so we've got to wait for this to finish. Uh, save current level. Okay, exit out of your active class browser, exit out of this. And now what you want to do is right click in your map and click play from here. You now you'll see your jump pad is here. So now when you jump, uh, wasn't quite high enough. You see that? 
All right, so we need to change. So what we need to do here is change our air time here. So let's exit out of here by pushing escape and go back on the properties of your jump pad. Let's highlight the ground so we don't have anything selected but this. Uh, okay. And for air time, air control, let's like that. Uh, let's make that change that to a 10. And let's try that. You have to try, keep trying different things here until you get it right. Okay, the jump the jump pad is actually too close is what's happening now. So what we need to do is press escape. Well, this is what I need to do. It's going to be different on yours. So I need to take and drag it back away from the map and then drag it down. And I think I probably need to angle mine a little bit. About right there. That looks pretty good. And I can build all and save. This is a fairly large map, so it's going to take a few seconds here. Now, by angling this, we're going to see if this is going to mess us up here. This is the first time I've ever tried to do this with an angle on the actual jump pad. Okay, once it's finished building, just save your level. get the idea and uh, let me do that for a second All right, once you save your level go ahead and let's try it again play from here alright let's try this thing now oh That's pretty close, but I <laughs> I need to go a little higher. Let me just see if I can get over here. All right, let me change the time. That's what I need to do. Properties. Oops, I got two selected. All right, let's try this again. All right, change the jump time to 3.0. Hit enter. Exit out that. Play from here. You are on red. All right. There we go. So there you go. That's how you uh, do your jump pad. Now we jump. That's just about what I wanted right there. So I think. Uh, Let's try this one more time just to make sure. There you go. Right at the flag. That's what you want. So you want the other team to be able to jump from different areas because it makes the game more playable and more fun. Alright, thank you for watching this tutorial.